Hi everyone, this is Ashwin. In this video, we are going to solve the problem print in reverse. You are given the pointer to the head node of a linked list and you need to print all of its elements in reverse order from tail to head, one element per line. The head pointer may be null, meaning that the list is empty. In that case, do not print anything. So in this problem, we have to print the linked list from the tail to the head. We can make use of a recursion in order to print all the nodes in reverse. So let's check the constraints. Here n can go up to 1000 and the numbers in the list can also go up to 1000. So we don't need to worry about the constraint here. This is the sample input here. We have three linked list and this is the number of elements in the linked list. This is the linked list, I guess, 16, 12, 4, 2, 5. We have to print the linked list by reverse. So 5, 2, 4, 12, 16. So here the output is displayed like this, 5, 2, 4, 12, 16. Like this, we have to do this for all the remaining linked list. So the logic is quite straightforward. We don't need to worry about uh, any other complicated stuff here. Okay, let's solve the problem now. First, we have to define the base case. That is, if head equals none, we can return the function. Return, we can return nothing. So we don't need to worry about that. Now, if head is not null means, we have to call the function. So reverse print. In the argument, we have to pass the next pointer. That will be head dot next. So it will go to the next pointer. The recursion will continue until it reaches the end. When the end is reached, it will be none. So we will return and now we can print the data. Print head dot data. So this is the whole logic of the problem. So this will be our uh, base case. This is the rest of the operation. Let's trace the input with some example. Consider this is the input of the linked list. First, we will have the head pointer. Head is not null. So we will pass the next pointer in the recursion. So 12 will be head. Like this, the process goes on until it reaches the end. So when the end is reached, the next pointer will be null. So it will go back to the previous step. In the previous step, it will print the data. When it goes to the previous function, it will print the corresponding data. Like this, we will print all the data in reverse. Okay, let's run the code now. It passed the sample test case. Let's submit it. That's it guys. We solved the problem. If this video is helpful to you, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for future videos. See you guys in the next video.